everybody, this is still my hand. Welcome to Leftovers. This is a type of new series that I'm making that if I have any extra thoughts or opinions that I forgot to mention back in the Dale Marshall episode or behind the scenes info or even uh, just fun little bloopers that I filmed with my friends, I'm just gonna put them all together in this type of video series. So it's not gonna happen with every single Dale Marsh episode, but if I feel like there's a lot of extra stuff that went behind the scenes of a video or stuff that I forgot to talk about. I just figured I'd just make this type of video type series, whatever. So just begin. Um, now, originally, I was thinking of not making this a top 10. This is something that I've been thinking about quite a while. And it's that whenever I make like a top 10 list, I when I look back at my old top 10s, there's some that I'm like, Oh, I wish I put that higher up on the list or some that I wish was like, man, I could have put that a little bit more because I don't know with top tens nowadays, it just gets kind of irritating trying to find a specific spot uh, to put a certain game or something on the list. So I think maybe for future top tens, they shouldn't be like in a certain order. I should just say these are my 10 favorite games or 10 favorite movies or something like that instead of doing a top 10 list. So this might be the last one. I was gonna do just a regular hey dude, these are the 10 games that I'm excited from E3 this year but obviously that didn't happen. I I was confident enough with the list. I still am because I mean Super Mario Odyssey I'm really excited for. Shadow of Colossus was the biggest surprise from E3 in my opinion. I was really excited to see to see that it was being completely remade from the ground up and I'm really hoping that it does well. Um, but there were some other games that I didn't mention uh, in the video, whether it be something I mentioned in the top 10 list or even in my runner-ups catalog. Uh, these are five games that I forgot to mention because, I mean, they're interesting but uh, well, one of them I'm definitely gonna buy, but the others I haven't decided if I'm gonna purchase yet. Um, one game I forgot to mention was Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I'm really excited for this title because it looks good, um, and I really like the care of the Crash, but I never actually played a whole lot of Crash Bandicoot back in the days, and I do have all three games on the PS1, and I do enjoy playing them. Maybe not so much the first one, but I'm really happy to see this remake. The reason why I didn't mention this game on my E3 video is because it's coming out very shortly, like in about a few days, like June 30th of this month. That's why I didn't really mention it since it's coming out so quickly that I didn't feel like really putting it on the E3 video, but regardless, it looks a lot of fun. I think it'll do terrifically, plus being able to play as Coco in all three games I think is a great addition. Another game that I forgot to mention is Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Now, I mean, I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z on like Toonami, but I'm not a huge fan of Dragon Ball. I like the series, but I am not heavily fan, uh, I'm not a heavy fan compared to all of my other friends. I just know some of the main characters and know that the action is pretty cool, but I don't go freaking insane every time a new Dragon Ball game or something like that comes out. But Dragon Ball F Fighter Z does look fun. It's a 2D fighter that uh, I think looks uh, really chaotic in some places, but I'm pretty interested in trying it out. If maybe if they make a demo release for it, I'll try to demo out. And unfortunately, there was no Switch announcement, and uh, luckily the company has said that they will consider a Switch version if people demand it, and I'm really hoping that the game comes out for the Switch because that will be amazing, because this game looks tons of fun, actually. Another game that I'm excited for is Knack 2. I personally love Knack on the PlayStation 4. Um, granted, it wasn't my very first PlayStation 4 title to play, but I have played it, it is really fun, really cute, um, and this game definitely looks like it'll add a whole lot uh, to what, because uh, Knack, I mean, it's a fun game, but I will admit there are some parts where I felt it was a bit sluggish in the gameplay, but this game looks like it'll be a lot more faster paced and have a lot more challenge and involvement, so I'm really hoping that this game does well, because I think Knack, uh, it's sort of a, I wouldn't say hidden gem, but a title that not a whole lot of people talk about in the PlayStation 4 library, and to see a sequel be made, I'm really happy with that, and it looks really fun. 
Uh, another game the, that I was gonna mention but I didn't was Assassin's Creed Origins. I heard rumors of a Egyptian themed Assassin's Creed last year I believe but n no one did want to mention it and now that rumor has been true that this is an Egyptian an Assassin's Creed game uh, set in the Egyptian times and it looks really interesting. I think the game looks beautiful. It looks tremendously beautiful. I'm not a huge fan of Assassin's Creed. I played one, didn't get into it, but uh, I just think the Egyptian theme looks fun, so I might play it, but I haven't played any of the other Assassin's Creed games, so I might get lost. And it's shocking to, uh, back when they did the Xbox conference, uh, they mentioned that this was the 10 year anniversary of Assassin's Creed. It's really hard to imagine that it's been 10 years since the first one. And uh, yeah, it looks uh, interesting. But most of all, it looks gorgeous, I will say. But then the last game I forgot to mention because they did show this game was, was in E3 was that Bubsy was coming back. Um, I, I'm, I'm just baffled because, I mean, there's plenty of other game franchises that could have come back, but we got Bubsy. I'm just baffled that it exists, that they're making a new game. So, yay? Oh well, but that's just some of the little games that I forgot to mention in my e video. And just some extra thoughts I have because maybe for future top 10 videos, they won't be organized. I should just say these are my 10 favorite um, rabbits from video games or 10 favorite music tracks from the Mario games or something like that instead of strictly organizing in certain places in like a top 10 category. That's something I might do for future Del Marcia episodes. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. But uh, to finish this video off, here's some funny bloopers with some of my friends. So, enjoy. <laughs> I was hoping you guys would be able to pull it off, because I wanted to keep that. <laughs> Hello, Del. Are you making the Switch too? 4K? Gaming? Nope. <laughs> Back to the dab. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to come out of it and talk to you like a normal human being. To the... You're gonna kill me, I know it. The Lord, I never knew the Lord's plan was for me to die by dabbing! So, just begin. Okay. But first off, stop that! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Go home, Hamas! I, I don't care anymore! I don't have the money! No, you have Wait. to look, You have to focus on him! Shout out 4K for about maybe like three times. Just shout out 4K! Oh god, no! Well, don't dive. You need to be dabbing with off-center arms so that it's a four on your legs and a K on your <laughs> arms. Okay, how's that? Four. <clears throat> right, with the K. <laughs> the K, oh God. Like okay, this. I said dab, but off-center. So, so dab. No, this arm. This arm go down? No, the other one. There you go. 4K, there you go. I was recording that entire thing. Sorry if you get sick, Danny. 4K! Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, Dave. Should I zoom in on him? <laughs> Follow you. Zoom out. Zoom out of my crotch. 4K! <laughs> Hello, Dave. <laughs> Why do people keep bragging about 4K? Okay, crap. <sighs> Just... I don't understand. Better... It looks fine 1080p, so... Aren't you supposed to be yelling for gay? Okay? waiting for the perfect moment. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, yes, try that again. So, brag it up better resolution. It looks fine 1080 and... Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, wait a moment. Today's Friday. Dad, you're too funny!